What's up everybody and welcome back to the Cool Figures channel and today I have for you guys an overview of my toy haul, of my toy hunting uh, in Seattle, Washington, plus a figure I picked up the day before I left and a package that I came home to. What's in it? I know you don't want to know what's in it. Stay till the end to find out and we'll unbox it together. But before we get it all into this guys, if you're new then welcome. This channel is about cool action figures as you can see analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. I upload new content every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Check back on those days to see what I've uploaded, or just hit that bell icon to stay notified when I do upload new content, because I do try to randomly upload new content throughout the week whenever I do get the chance, uh, besides those three days. And if you guys do enjoy this video or any of my other videos on my channel, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate that. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, guys. It is a very small goal of mine to try to reach at least one new subscriber per new video that I put out. So please, be my one new subscriber for this video. Thank you so much in advance. As always, the information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. I am your host, Jesse the Bat Girl, a.k.a. The Buff Collector. And once again, guys, I have an overview of my toy haul from Seattle, plus a few extra things. So let's go ahead and do it in somewhat of a chronological order, if I can remember uh, the order in which I bought these things. Uh, but first off, before I left, the day before I left on Friday, on Thursday, I was able to online pick up uh, Boba Fett, the Deluxe Return of the Jedi, in Target, um, which I am very happy about. But at the same time, I'm kind of like a little confused because I ordered, I pre-ordered this figure on Hasbro Pulse when they announced it during PulseCon or whatever that thing was. And I've yet to get any kind of email from Hasbro yet I was able to pick it up at Target. So uh, I'm definitely gonna cancel that order. Now that I have it already in hand, there's no reason for me to get it. Uh, so look out for that review coming soon, guys. Look out for all these reviews coming soon. I have so much great content coming up for you guys. Um, but yeah, first off, we're gonna start off with the Deluxe Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. So after that, guys, we went ahead and headed out to Seattle. So the first day we were there, I stopped by a few Targets and Walmarts and didn't really find much. I found the the Spartan Gunner, I guess that's what it's called, the orange figure in this wave. The first day I was there and I picked him up and I was like, you know what, this is a decent find. I scanned him and it said they had 21 in the back. So I went to the guy and I asked him to check in the back. He said, sure, I'll go check. He went and checked, came back, said, you know what, man? It says we have them in stock, but we don't. We all know what that means. He went to the back, sat on his phone for a bit, and came back and told me that shit. All right, that's okay. So I picked up the orange one. Nonetheless, I was like, you know what? If I can't find any figures at all, at least I go home with something. Uh, the next day, though, we went ahead and did a little more exploring in Seattle, downtown area, in that area. I'm sorry, I said area twice over there. Uh, but throughout that, there was like four or five targets that we went to and man did I score so at one of the targets I went ahead and picked up the new wave of grunts right here uh, even though I don't have any world of halo figures these grunts actually scale way better with the Spartan collection figures than they do uh, the world of halo figures um, they're literally the same height as the master chief in the world of halo figures line and if you've played the games before you know that grunts are literally just midget aliens and as you can see, they definitely scale better with, um, you know, the Spartan collection. But, you know, that's why I essentially picked up two grunts because I want to use them in toy photography with my Spartan collection figures. So, talking about my Spartan uh, collection figures, they weren't the next pickup. In fact, the next pickup were the Black Series Archive, but we'll stick with the Halo theme right now. Um, I went to another Target and they once again had the orange uh, Spartan Gunner figure and nothing else. Well, they actually had Master Chief. They had a few Master Chiefs from the Wave 2 collection. Um, and so once again, I was like, you know what? It doesn't hurt to try to ask. So I went up to the worker uh, and I asked her politely, you know, do you have this anymore in stock? It says you do. I scanned it. She scanned it on her thing. She said, yeah, I'll be right back. I pretty much expected the same result as the first guy, you know, her to come back and be like, ah, well, we don't have it, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. She came back with an armful of them and just was like, here, you can just pick out which one you want. I brought them all out. 
I was like, thank you, thank you so much. And it, actually, there was one more that I really wanted, which was the Emil. I think it's just Emily eight two three nine, and she had helped me out so much. I didn't want to bug her again to go to the back because uh, I was really happy with the one she did bring out. And so I went ahead and returned that the Spartan Gunner because I wasn't really big on the figure. I really just wanted to bring something home, and I definitely brought something home. So I went ahead and returned it, and I went ahead and picked up the Spartan Mark V B version with the Energy Sword and Disruptor or Distributor and a Wave 2 Master Chief because I did watch a review to compare the Wave 1, wave one versus Wave 2 and there was enough difference and uh, change in the figure for me to want it to buy it again. Uh, not aesthetically but uh, like with the joints and whatnot and which I will go more in depth in the review for this figure which I will also show a comparison to the Wave 1 version of Master Chief. And I also picked up the Jerome uh, Spartan figure right here. So all in all, I'm very happy with that pickup alone. Uh, but then I went ahead and walked on over to the multiverse section of that same target. And I saw this guy, he looked really familiar and I was like, hey, that looks familiar. And then it hit me, oh, that's the new Tom McFarlane Batman that's being released, not the, the you know, the alternate non-gold version. And so I instantly grabbed him and picked him up and obviously picked the bottom. And last but not least, as I said, we stopped by downtown Seattle and in the heart of downtown Seattle, right by Pikes Peak, uh, which is their oceanfront pier type thing, uh, there was a Target. And that Target had the new archives, uh, Black Series archive figures. So I was super excited about that. I was super happy. Um, but yeah, guys, all in all, this is what I picked up. And I am super excited to show you guys. I cannot wait to do reviews on all these figures. Uh, you do not know how much it's been killing me not to open these things all day. Um, but with that being said, and without further ado, uh, oh, I did also pick up another one of these uh, surprise things because Target was having a deal. If you spend $100 on toys, you get, I think it was $25 off. I was $4 short, and so thankfully they had these in stock and I was able to pick them up and I didn't really get anything new besides uh, the baggies which is really cool um, and I also recently hit 600 followers on Instagram so thank you so much if you follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram at cool figures I really would appreciate it and you get to see the full images uh, from my review videos because sometimes they get a little cut off because of the time of transition and whatnot but you can see the full images that I post up on Instagram and I'm planning on using some of this some of these bags for my uh, 600 followers uh, special celebration toy pick uh, soon that I'll be making but once again nothing new really I got the snake again the markers uh, this little monkey thing and also the water balloons but as if you haven't seen my review of these little things, go ahead and check them out. I will try and remember to link it up above. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and open up this Amazon box. So recently, as you've noticed on my channel, I've gotten the new Mezco Batman figures. And what I've really been wanting to do with them and my uh, street scene diorama from NECA is build a back cave for them within one of them because I have two for toy photography. One of them has a gym and an armory. Uh, one of them's just empty, so I'm thinking maybe a bat cave would be perfect for there. And um, so with that being said, and keeping that in mind, I went ahead and purchased this set right here uh, so that I can specifically use the accessories for that bat cave. And it is the Diamond Select Muppets Bunsen and Beaker uh, set because they have a bunch of scientific stuff plus a table uh, which is really great because obviously Batman is really good at science and he uses it a lot and so I feel like those will be really cool accessories to have in the Batcave and it even comes with a clipboard and he can be holding looking like he's analyzing stuff uh, so that's why I bought this but I will still be doing a review on it on my channel and since it's just for the accessories, they may be an extra random video throughout the week that is not posted on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Well, technically, since it's a review, it would be a Monday or Wednesday because if you're new to the channel, Fridays I do behind the scenes toy photography shoots where I show you guys my process of creating shots. Uh, so go ahead and check those videos out. I'll try to remember to link the videos above. But 
But that's about it, guys. As you can see, it was a very successful trip to Seattle, a very successful toy hunt, and I could not be happier. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the reviews because I am looking forward to doing the reviews for you guys and all the fun pictures I'm going to take with all these great figures and building the new Batman diorama. Um, slowly but surely, I, I, I'm in no rush to do that, but I'm sure uh, I can get it done eventually, um, maybe by summer or whatnot. But yeah, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for spending this time with me and you know being interested in seeing what I picked up in Seattle on my toy hunt. Um, the one thing I took away from it is targets are definitely different throughout the states and uh, Walmarts are consistently empty, guys. Don't waste your time. Uh, but with that being said, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I am your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, a.k.a. The Buff Collector. Alright guys, so here we are with all the figures out of their boxes, except for Master Chief. I'm still on the fence about him, I'm probably going to keep him, but I'm, I'm keeping him in the box for now, I'll probably open him in a day or two. But regardless guys, this is the most amount of figures I have opened in a long time. I think the last time I opened this many action figures was probably Christmas when I was a kid. So yeah, this feels like, you know, really good opening. Every single one of these figures right now just gave me a bunch of endorphins and whatnot. I absolutely love toy collecting. I absolutely love opening these figures and being able to pose them and put them up and you know take pics of them. And uh, so I'm super excited to bring you guys the reviews coming up soon. I hope you guys are going to stay tuned and are looking forward to them as well. And as with that, I'm going to leave you with this preview of what's to come on the Cool Figures channel. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.